grew up on a dairy farm up in Fulton County, just not far from here. In 1983, my dad decided that he wanted to maybe get in a little feed business, so we actually came down here and got started in that and then sold out of the dairy business. For us to survive on this farm, we've just had to, you know, uh, look at different things to do and try to incorporate everything into one, and it's worked well for us. We've been blessed. Been on this farm since probably about uh, 92. Raised hogs for years and kind of got out of that and we're working at the feed mill and actually owned the feed mill for a while. And got into the beef cattle probably about 95 or 96 and kind of got into some pure red angus and red angus. Kept the fertilizer business and we still do that when the spring season, a little bit in fall, kind of our way of life. We raised two girls here. They were both very involved in the farming, uh, whether they wanted to be or not. But they were, and, and they helped me a lot growing up. I've still got the tractor up here they both started raking hay with. It's an old 3000 Ford. The hardest thing is we're calving in the spring also. We'll start our spring calvers about the end of February. And of course, that's always running in with fertilizer season. But we are leaning more toward calving in the fall, and we've actually got probably 60% of our cows calving in the fall now. And that makes it a lot easier. I'm kind of a self-employed, only one taking care of stuff on the fertilizer end, and it can get really busy trying to keep all your customers happy and everything. Growing up on the dairy farm taught you that uh, no matter what day it was or what the weather was like, you, you had to be at that barn twice a day milking those cows. I had parents that taught me that at a young age, and I'm proud of that, and I've been able to carry that with me all these years. I guess the favorite part of farming for me is the fact that I can actually just kind of be out here with the cattle, kind of get away from everything. It's nice a lot of the time just to be able to do that. I would recommend this life to anyone as long as they're willing to put in the time. It definitely takes time and effort. Even on Sunday mornings, you've got to get out and take care of these cattle and see to it that everything's good.